Remember, Amrazu, there is still hope. I shall wait here for Queen Himoko's re revelation. Let us meet once again, wherever uh, when uh, wherever Oni Island may re uh, may appear. May the God of Sea watch over you. And yes, I took the long way for sake of dramatic effect. I mean, we've got this badass music and stuff, and yes, I could fast travel there. But come on, badass music and cool sequence of running towards the Anku Temple and stuff. I mean, it, it would be it would be rude not to, for sake of like video footage. Just build that tension up. Okay then, well, we're almost on our way. Do do do, now loading, let's continue. Paws everywhere. Pa 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 paws. Pa 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 paws. just received orders not to let anyone in or out of Senai. No one is allowed to pass this point. Sorry, Papa. You'll have to go for a walk someplace else for now. Oh, okay. But oh, we have to use fast travel. Alright. Nothing tells me anything about the fudge that I hunted. Ah, what goes you? My Digimon doesn't want to move throwing that icon. Literally bandages don't help with that icon, even though it looks like they should. How the fudge do I heal that? To be able to go to partner, that is, click on the Digimon, it should tell me flat out what's wrong with that. Do 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 well, your guess would be as good as mine. Whoa, it's the busty babe. Aw, oh, she's gone. She faded through a wall. Question mark? What the? You see that, Amy? That busty babe went right through the wall. We're being lured into a trap, me thinks. Who would have thought there'd be a secret passage here? You feel a draft coming out of a well? It must lead to that busty babe where I'm a monkey's uncle. Hurry, Amy. Leap before you think, right?
Ah. What in the world is even going on anymore? Um. Hey, there's a body here. Wow, looks like it's been laying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. Hmm, now where have I seen clothes like that before? Ah. Uh. She didn't kill everyone who was originally at this temple, right? And she didn't kill everyone at the other temple where we got the Gale Storm ability, right? Uh, that's way too convoluted. There's no way. Right? Why, why is my brain giving me a hunch otherwise? Oh, Jesus. There's no way. There, there's no way. I'm... I'm having difficulties believing such... You obtained Northern Land. Scroll drawn by wandering artist contains useful information. Uh, there's a pearl. Yes, we know what a pearl is, game. I know already, I know. Oh my god, it's a pearl. Really? No shit. Full horn. Does it exactly what you think it does? Uh, just something's giving me some bad vibes here. The evil demons that have flourished throughout the land. No, no, oh, no matter how many are defeated, their numbers do not thin, and their and the burden that they place on human hearts does not dissipate. They're these foul f friends. Uh, Fiends come from a land far to the north of Nippon. From there, they infiltrate our land and prepare and preparate notorious acts. The northern lands are feared as a breeding ground for evil. For many years, Nippon has, has severed itself from the land to the north, an unclean land where evil runs wild without restraint. However, it is also said that all of creation originally made in the north. Oh, so that was the blank slot right here. Also known as Izuna, it is often under the control of sorcery. Co uh, competent sorcerers can use it as a source of great wealth. It is frequently the cause of flame and disease. Famine and disease. To control this powerful beast, one needs supreme... So you need a sorcerer with a lot of magic to summon the foxes that we fought. And the only person with that kind of magic is the person we gave the fox rods to. Um... I have questions. I have many questions, in fact. Uh, yeah. Huh? Isn't this Himoko's palace? Why is there a tunnel from Anku Temple to here? Ah. <laughs> uh, just when I thought the plot line wasn't thick enough, it gets thicker. Boy, does it get thicker. I have just so many questions right now. Uh, can I get it out of here? That's, that's my first question. I might have trapped myself. Are you kidding me, game? I, did I just trap myself? Is this- is this it? Did I just- uh, do I have to, like, reboot my save now? Um... Oh no, I see. We need to go around. Well, anyway, let's head in here. Something's not right.
your majesty, Queen Himoko. Oh god, she did kill... Oh god. So she killed everyone at Enku Temple, and probably killed all of the maidens at the other place. The, uh, the one where they were trying to defeat Crimson Helm and we got Galestorm from. That town. She probably killed them too! She's OP! Um. Holy shit! She passed out. Oh, God. So she ki so we know that she probably killed everyone at Anku Temple and is basically pretending to be... Oh, this is... I I'm hoping I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, though, but I'm hoping I'm wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, nothing seems right right now. Yeah, I'm gonna use that save point. You know, I always thought that this place looked like a boss room, and it was weird that we didn't fight a boss. Now I'm seeing why it looks like a boss room. Now I'm getting it. Oh... Uh, huh? What the heck happened? Hey, pretty lady, Hamoko. She's... She, she's dead. It was terrifying. A monster ten times my height appeared. It destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Hamoko like that. I'm having a hard time believing you. You're standing by yourself. There's a dead body. And I'm supposed to believe that you didn't kill her. I'm... Busty Babe, is that you? What monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at Enku Temple? I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. No human could stand up to it. Our feeble mortal resistance is futile. Dang it. Himoko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So how the heck did this happen? Hey, Amy, why'd you keep staring at the busty babe? Because I don't believe the bitch! Himoko's dead, aren't you the least bit sad? Yeah, Amy is not- is not buying this story at all. What's wrong, Amy? Amaratsu? What are you doing? Down, Amy. Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Huh? What the hell she's chanting? <gasps> Did you- she had a sand eye! She literally had like the black eye with the red pupils! What the- what's up with those freaky eyes of yours, babe? You're freaking me out! <laughs> Oh god, I think she did kill. I think she not only killed the people at Enku Temple, but also the other temple. From before! Where we got Gale Storm from, and we had to defeat Crimson Helm. Yeah. Well, carrying on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaratsu. I lured you to the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon. But you escaped and managed to get your paws on the lucky mallet. I think she had the fox rods to begin with, which was why we got attacked by foxes. I think she I think she always had the fox rods and was in control of the foxes that tried to attack us. You even cleared the uh, city of the poison mist. You also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress. And you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. 
But... But now that the water dragon has gone, my fortress is impregnable, and Himoko is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. Luck must be on my side. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao made it so simple. Breaking Himoko's magical barrier was easy once I got close to her. Ami, where's the busty babe we know and love? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaratsu, you foolish beast. To think that you parted with this mighty source of magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The Fox Rods made the Crystal Ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd been here to see Himoko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me in the event that one of your pathetic friends tries to locate me. And if I deal with you now too, Amaratsu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil being. And it's weird that it says evil crap. Yeah. she wasn't already. Yeah, because she just said that she's been evil from the day we met her. Because if she tricked us on the sunken ship, then she's been evil as long as we've known her. He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real busty babe. Boy, she's a real good faker. She had me totally fooled. And look what she did to poor little Himoko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're gonna finish you off right here. I missed time the shield there. Well, we got the crystal ball back at least. Okay, we have her now, Amia. Let's finish off that fox-headed wrench. What the hell? Uh, I guess this is where the real boss fight begins. Ignorant fools. Did you really think it would be that easy? I have powers beyond belief. Here is but a taste of what the Dark Lord can do.
Ha! <laughs> Pretty deity. It is only the size of this room that saved you. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. However, resistance is futile, for your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness. Wahaha! Well... That was a thing that happened. Oh, uh, yeah. Emeralds who had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. Emeralds who and Isun were left to wallow in overwhelming sadness. Emoko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. With him, Moko died, all clues to the location of Oni Island. Amaratsu and Isun were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood-kicked crystal ball spewed forth by the uh, Dark Lord clearly displayed an image of him, Moko. Isun, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himoko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easy to find, and that she had determined to become e ethereal and enter the crystal ball herself in search of clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's powers. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the box rods. All was planned. Himoko's will infused the crystal ball with great power. The fortress housing the dark forces materialized. Oni Island appears only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of the of Ryoshi coast near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Oni Island would appear again at Watcher's Cape at next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our heroes' hearts just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal. A deep crack appeared and split Himoko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent. The destiny of Himoko's very soul had been in inextricably intertwined with that of the crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's de the demise. <laughs> Himoko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments, and drifted seemly, uh, serenely towards the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaratsu's safe passage. <laughs> Amy, the sun's gonna set soon. Only Oni Island's gonna disappear. That revelation Himoko risked her life to tell us. Whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break this barrier on Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watcher's Cape, Amy. And Moko, it can't be. Oh, but it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that explains why this area looks like a boss room. Because we didn't actually fight a boss the last time we came in here. And I mean, look at this. We're going through, like, multiple doors, a hallway, and then there's a save point at the end of the hallway. It was just screaming, at some point, Himoko's gonna die. Like, it kind of gave it away. Just by... Yeah, it, it kind of gave it away a little bit that you were gonna fight a boss at some point in this room. Like, I mean, even- I mean, we go through a pit of lava, through multiple doors in a hallway to get to a save point. It's like, come on, game. There's foreshadowing, and then there's just straight up tell me the- uh, to, then just straight up tell me the surprise. Hey, the sun's gonna set if you-
Hey, how did you get in here? Okay, how do I make the, uh, let me see here. I'm gonna figure out how to do this. I think it was like that. Ow, ass! I gotta go to find the scroll. Ass! Oh, uh, let me see here. I was in travel guides some damn where. Um... No, that's the Veil of Mist. No. Where the fuck is the thing so I can... Oh, fuck. Do you remember how to do the thing? Make the, the mermaid fan go off? This? What I remember was the... world. Like, how? Oh. Apparently that. Hold on a second, Amy. Are you nuts? This is no time to be. Oh come on! We can't use fast travel here. This is stupid. Shut up! Shut up! And so we're taking the fast travel. Like seriously, can I not just take fast travel? Ugh. Ah, oh, fuck off, to developers. Really? I think it's a side quest that I think it's a single spoil to do this manageable fast travel. I should know that. But yeah, but what's stupid is that we're racing against the clock here to get to get to the um get to the thing before the next sunrise. And yet and still we can't just use fast travel to make this easier. I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not understand it. Like, yes, I get it. It's so that you can't go to other areas and backtrack and stuff because it's a storyline event. But why not just lock off all of the other fast travel points except for the one you're supposed to go to? Wouldn't that be a smarter idea, developer? Yeah. Like, that would have, like, that would have been fine if the game was like, you can't go to these other places, but you can go to the, you can just go to the progression area. Because, you know, you need to progress storyline. That'd be like, okay, fine. I'll go do the next thing. they're like, how on earth did you get in here? But everyone knows about the mermaid coins, it seems, and how to fast... How are we going to... Oh, it opens automatically now. But yeah, but yeah, what's hilarious is that there's a mermaid shrine, in, or I'm sorry, there's a mermaid spring inside the town, and it seems that people know how to use mermaid coins to fast travel, so that barrier, so that gate does absolutely fuck all. Cause it's like anyone could just teleport by paying about a thousand yen at a shop and just teleport. Teleport. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me, but you think there would be guards around the mermaid- around, like, the mermaid springs? Because then that wouldn't be a massive gaping plot hole. Yeah. You'd think that'd be a thing, because we're- because we're assuming that all the humans seem to know that this is a thing. I mean, all of the shopkeepers sell mermaid coins. 
nighttime already? That means Oni Island has vanished from the. Do you seriously get game over if you? I should slap my. Oh my god. This is so stupid. This is so stupid because we have time powers. We can literally manipulate the flow of time. So like, why the fuck is there a time challenge? In a game where I can manipulate time. I don't get it. That's so idiotic. That is such bullshit. Because it's like, so why can't Okami just rewind fucking time? Instead of having a weird checkpoint system if you run out of time. Like, why not? Why can't- why can't we just Ocarina of Time this one? I don't get it. Oh, cause that'd be too similar to Legend of Zelda- It's already similar! Every reviewer already compares this game to Legend of Zelda. Why not just throw in rewind powers too? Might as well! I mean, every reviewer seems to compare this game to Legend of Zelda, so it's like, why not? I mean... Oh my god. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but like, eh, it would It would have made so much more fucking sense. It's not just you, I agree with you. Yeah. Why, Amaratsu? Hiya, babe. How'd you ever find this place? I sense Queen Himoko's fathomless regret upon her last breath. It made its way to the distant halls of the Dragon Palace. Behold the sun. Even now it sinks down beyond the sea. Once it is gone, so too shall Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will have appear next, and no art known to mortals can divine its location. That may be true, but listen, it really doesn't matter because we can't break the barrier. I mean, the water dragon was our only hope, and it's dead now. The water dragon is not dead in the true sense of the word. I can harness its power with a, sin with a sincere prayer to the dragon orb. Oh, now she tells us. I, Otohemi of the drag of the Dragonian, shall transform into a dragon and break through the wall that divides. May I serve you as a divine bridge to the heaven. So wait, the orb will transform her to dragon. Yep. She had to swallow it. Holy shit, she's ugly. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Okay, she wasn't joking about a bridge. I didn't realize that when she said bridge, she meant it literally. I literally have a bridge for you. Come on, let's go. You must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay, hang in there, babe. We'll be back in a jiffy. Sorry, Furball. Looks like millet dumplings aren't in your stars. You'll have to settle for kicking some monster butt on Oni Island. Listen up, Amy. Himoko's probably watching over us, so promise me you won't give up for some stupid reason like you're hungry or have to go to the bathroom. Well, you don't have to worry about that second. 
Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> okay, I'll hold you to your word. Whoa, that looks nasty. Normally we'd be crispy critters if we touched that stuff, but it shouldn't be any different from water for you now, Amy. Come on, how about some of that water magic of yours? Yeah. Uh, why isn't it working, though? It's supposed to work. Now it works the third time. Apparently, third time's a charm. Oh. You'd think a goddess wouldn't be affected, period, by fire. Yeah, you would. You would think so, that we wouldn't need a fire tablet. But I digress. I like that they gave out a ton of plastic free beta again. So to get it on the PS4, you do have to go through the... Okay. Because it won't show up on the PlayStation 4 as PlayStation 4. It will say it's a PlayStation Beta game, and it is, but it's also a PlayStation 4 game. Okay, the grappling hook mechanic. You know how the developers forgot about it for the last 10 hours? It's back. Right? Yep. I swear to God, I thought that the developers just completely forgot it even existed by this point of game. Just, and they were like, oh shit! That's back. Yeah. Let, let's put a random treasure chest. That that way that way will look like we're utilizing our mechanics correctly. It'll be fine. Nobody will know. What the f- Also, sissy, in second here, do you think you could turn on the ladies? What the hell even?
I don't know what their finishers were at all. What? Yeah. Because even though Win seemed to be pretty effective, it wasn't their floral finisher. So who the hell knows? Um, Lone Wolf versus Evil. Okay. Bestiary. Ogres conjure images of savagery, but these are quite sophisticated. Red ogres wear iron masks as if to maintain their own dignity. An old saying applies to those who show pride in their appearance. It says to defeat a red ogre, attack from the side to detach the mask and embarrass it. Attack from the side. This means that one is too... I couldn't get the mask off though, even though I attacked it from behind everything. That's stupid. There's a famous story which contains the line, a lightning strike may, uh, makes one bear their fangs. So the blue ogres, you need thunder, which we don't have yet, but we will get on this island. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light really fast. Okay. The Amaterasu legend includes meeting with a uh, bewitching beauty. She is known as Rao, a priestess whose feet are known far and wide. Her beauty and knowledge sparked desire in all who gazed upon her. One day following her lecture, a man with a fox's face came calling. He vanished in a plume of smoke, uh, smoke and reappeared as a nine-edged sword. He corrupted and took over Rao's body, fooling everyone. Hopefully we find a save point to as soon as I kind of want to... Pony Island. You'd have to have a pretty warped mind to build a castle here. I bet those two-bit monsters think they're big shots living here. Let's teach them a lesson by fighting our way to the top and dragging that fox-headed wrench down by the scruff of her neck. Oh, hey, there's a save point. Who goes there? Hey, how did you get in here? You ain't come to invade us, poor folk of Oni Island, have you? Also, yeah, what time is it? It's about 4.44, so it's a good time to end it. Because I am getting a bit tired. You've got me to answer to. A fight to end all fights. And the best way to settle it. With a bit of business, of course. Yeah, let's do some shopping. Uh, there's a sword we already have. They really want us to have the sword by this point of the game. Like, holy shit. They've they've tried and sold- they've tried to sell it to me like 4,000 times and I'm like, I bought it at the first fucking shop I saw it, game! Game! Thank you want me to have this sword so bad. Can I just have a new sword? Or, uh, some other weapons? I don't know. Also, we might want to buy a couple of these holy bones. Uh, the full restores. We're not gonna buy too many. Well, actually, we have, like, so much money, it's ludicrous. Let's buy, like, a shitload. Uh, that would be 10,000 yen. How much do I have? I have, have 16,000. Or wait, no, that's 165,000. 300, yeah, I think I can afford 10 grand. I think I can afford 10 grand with some bones that fully restore me, and four of them to boot. So basically, I have four, uh, basically, I have four full heals. Which seems like it's more than enough with how slowly I go through health in this game. I'll be surprised if I even use that. Right, and let's go ahead and end the stream here. In the next one, we will go ahead and take on Oni Island and all that. But for now, I am tired and I need some rest. Honestly, it's been a pretty, it's been a pretty long playthrough with a lot of plotline stuff going on. And I just need some rest from it all. You know, this plotline got pretty heavy all of a sudden. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Oh, 
And also, I have a slight migraine from uh, allergies because for whatever reason, my pills did not work as effectively as they normally do. So yeah, I've got a bit of a sinus headache right now and it's starting to build up. Like, I've had it all throughout the stream, but it's particularly starting to get worse. And I figure that's a good point to end it before... Because, yeah, my, my headache's getting a little bit... a little bit much for me. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead... Who do we have to host, by the way? Uh, let me just go ahead and look at my usual list. Yeah, I, um, we have Techliner right now. Why the hell not? We'll go and host Techliner.